guys welcome back to my channel I'm so excited to be making videos again for you guys I am really sorry that I sound super nasally right now um, I've been sick for the past couple days and I have been sleeping it out on my couch and I kind of had to just you know get out from underneath the covers and try to make you guys some videos because I've been like just sitting and watching YouTube videos all day and I'm like, I really need to get myself behind the camera now. Anyways, I have been requested to do the um, and highlight and contour with the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the cream contour and the powder contour kits. Um, they look somewhat like this. And so I've done a full face tutorial on that. I did my eyes before I did the video so you guys will get to see um, exactly how I did the cream contour, how I did my highlighting contour using the cream contour and the powder contour from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So if you guys like what you see right now then just keep watching. Thank you guys. So as you guys can see my eyes are already done and so are my eyebrows. I've already prepped and primed my skin and I'm going to be adding my color corrector underneath my eyes. This is the Makeup Forever Full Coverage, and I am in the color 12. As you guys can see, I take a little bit and I put it underneath my eyes. I do this pretty much every single day when I put on my makeup, and I put it underneath my foundation and before I put on concealer, so right over my primer. And as you guys can see, I'm just placing it right beneath my eyes, covering all of the discoloration. I have a lot of dark colors underneath my eyes so I'm trying to cover as much as I can. This is a little bit darker than my skin tone and that's what a corrector is supposed to do. It's supposed to mask all of the discoloration that you guys will see. You can also cover up any other redness you have like I'm placing it beneath my nose since I have some redness since I'm sick. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the MAC Studio Waterweight SPF 30 foundation. And I'm in the color NC42. I'm just putting a little bit on the back of my hand and going to dot it all over my face like you see. I don't use this foundation every single day, but I like to use it um, when I highlight and contour since it's full coverage and gives you a really nice dewy finish that will last all day. So once you dot your face, you want to take your damp beauty blender and you just want to dab the foundation right into your face. You want to make sure not to be rubbing but really instead you just want to dab it so that you get that flawless finish like you see. So we're going to get right into contouring. I use this flat brush as you guys saw and that's the cream contour kit that we're going to start with. And I take that flat brush and I dip it right into the color banana. Banana has got to be the best color to use um, to highlight underneath your eyes. It kind of looks good on most skin tones. And I take the brush, and as you guys can see, I'm almost going into like a sideways triangle right be beneath my eyes, all the way through my cheeks. And you can always add more or add less towards whatever your preference is. Um, don't be afraid to add this color on because it's not actually going to be very cakey. And you'll see in the end how it looks. It does not look cakey. So add it to your other cheek and then we're also going to add it. You can make a little triangle on your forehead as you can see. And I also add it on my chin. A little bit above my lip and down my nose. Then I'm going to take a damp beauty blender. This is the one by Real Techniques, and I'm just going to blend that in. I am dabbing it into my skin, but I'm also doing a little bit of rubbing. But you just want to make sure that it blends out, and you can get as close to your eyes as possible. I like to get right below my eyeliner, as you guys can tell right there. But I also like to keep it not too low. You want to make sure that you're not spreading that too um, low on your cheek since you're going to add that contour. And you're going to do that on your second eye. You're also going to blend in the forehead, the nose, and the chin. Some people like to use a brush to blend in um, all of this makeup. I prefer the Beauty Blender because I think it makes you look more natural and gives a more airbrushed look. So that's why I prefer to use the Beauty Blender over a brush to kind of blend in all of this cream contour. So now we're going to go ahead and contour. I mix the two colors, Java and Light Sculpt, and I use the same brush that I was using earlier. And as you can see, I'm showing you guys exactly where I'm going to be contouring. I make the face. I know it's funny. 
and I find those lines right where my cheekbones are and I draw in with that contour right where my cheekbones, right below my cheekbones with that color. And this color is a very gray brown color, but you have to remember what you're trying to do is create a shadow. And that's the point of the contour. I also do that to my forehead. I do the corners, as you can tell, and that's going to create the illusion of a smaller forehead. It's going to kind of make your face shape look less round and more oval. You can also add the contour to your chin. It will give you a more defined jawbone. And I also put it to my nose. This is not something I do every day, and that's why you'll see that I kind of struggle with this. Um, I'm not that good at contouring my nose. And then I take my damp beauty blender and once again, I'm going to blend it in. You want to blend this into your hairline. So blend backwards into your hairline so that it does not look very streaky on your forehead especially. And I'll do that to my cheeks and my jaws and um, I'm going to be using a brush to contour my nose. And if you're a beginner at this, you can always add a little bit and blend it. And if you feel like, you know, it's not enough, you can always add a little bit and build the contour and the coverage as you like it. So remember that even if you can't see it too much right now, we're still going to add the powder on top. But just to let you guys know, I don't actually contour a lot and I don't put too much contour because I like to keep it a little bit natural. So now onto the nose. I'm going to be using this flat top brush as you can see and I'm just going to be chiseling it onto my nose there by the contour and I just go in sort of circular straight motion. So now I'm going to take a damp beauty blender. I'm going to dip it right into that banana powder. This is in the powder Anastasia kit and I'm going to dab it right over that cream contour. It might look look like nothing, but I'm actually putting quite a bit on there, and you want, this is going to set that cream contour and highlight that we just placed onto the face. So this is the banana powder in in the powder kit, and I'm putting that right over everywhere I put the highlight, and then I'm going to use this chiseled brush, and I'm going to add it into that similar brown color in the powder kit. And I'm going to add that over my contour. I really like using this brush because it gives you a very defined and chiseled contour. And then I'll go in with a different brush after, you guys will see. And I'll kind of blend that out. But getting this right below my cheekbones gives that very defined contour. You guys can see that. Then I go in with this brush from Real Techniques and I kind of blend that out. And you want to make sure that you're blending up and not blending down. But blend it out. And don't get too much in the way of that highlight that we just put in there. So this is the final look with the highlight and contour with the cream and powder Anastasia kits. I added some lipstick to my look. You can always wear this look as it is or you can add some highlighter to that matte highlighter of the Anastasia one. The one I'm using right now is Global Glow and I'm putting it on with a fan brush and this is completely optional. I just like to have a little bit of that sparkle as you guys can see. I really like that extra highlight touch um, right on there but if you guys have any other questions and requests please like comment below if you guys like this look comment below and please subscribe to my videos i'm going to be posting a lot more videos um now in the summertime uh hopefully try to get as much in before school starts again in august so if you guys like what you see please subscribe like and comment thanks guys